Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this problem together, but first try it on your own. You might be surprised what you can do. Alright, so they're telling us to simplify this expression. 4 to the 8th power, that means multiply 4 by itself, over and over again. Multiply out 8 4s, right? And they have 4 to the negative 4th. This means we start with 1 and divide by 4, 4 times, right? And they're asking us which one of these expressions represents this process. Well, let's go back through it, right? Um, to understand what we're doing here, I'm going to take a certain approach. And there are many ways to think about this. Um, but what I'm going to say is, let's step back. Let's just say we have 4 squared times 4 to the third. Different scenario. What happens here? Well, this means we have 4 squared. That means 4 times 4. Right, we're doing that, let's say, with um, the order of operations. You do 4 times 4 first. Then you would take that and multiply it by 4 times 4 times 4. 4 to the third is 4 times 4 times 4. Well, the associative property says that we can regroup all of this into one larger group, and that won't change our answer. In other words, multiplying 4 times 4 by another 3 4s is the same as multiplying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 4s. So this equals 4 to the fifth. Now if we go back to our original expression, we have 4 squared times 4 to the third, right? So I noticed something, and maybe you did too. Look at these exponents. What's the connection between 2 and 3 and 5? Well, you might notice that 2 plus 3 equals 5. And this is one of the essential laws of exponents, right? If you're multiplying at the same base, this number 4 in this case is the base, you can just add the exponents. Right, essentially, two groups of four times another three groups of four is the same as multiplying two plus three groups of four, or five groups of four, and that's what we're showing here. How does it help us in this problem? Well, when you're multiplying, you can think of adding the exponents, but if you're dividing, you can then think of the opposite. You can subtract exponents. So this problem ends up just being four to the eighth, right, and divided by four to the negative fourth, which means it's going to equal 4 to the power of 8 minus negative 4. We just subtract those exponents. And what's 8 minus negative 4? Well, that's just 12. And that's our answer, choice D. Now, there are many other ways to solve this, but I hope this one helped you. Thanks.